Hello, this is Katja with Creative Image Studio. Today I'm sharing with you an altered gift box and I already painted it in sort of a caramel colored brown. The original was white and the, uh, the center is jute with I guess some gesso on top, stamped and well it came from the store just like this. So I painted the lid and I also painted the inside and outside of the entire box as you can see here. And the paper I used is called Birth and it is sort of a brandless collection. The name you see is just the name of the store that sells it. And it's a very cute uh, A4 sized design paper pad uh, for uh, babies. It has boys and girls and it has uh, every third page of the pattern it has some specialty paper so it's like plain plain and uh, then a specialty so there it is the third page of each pattern has this glitter and uh, well it's all very very cute handheld filming here just to be able to get everything into frame and I will zoom in later on. So let's start with the outside of the box. And what you see here is lots of bows that I uh, used some hot glue to uh, adhere to uh, the box. And then there's cute tiny little buttons on each corner of the lid and this repeats itself all around. So both the bows and also the cute little tiny buttons that you see uh, here again. So there's blue and little yellowish green ones. Now the lid has lots and lots of uh, bows as you can see. And you already guessed it's a little baby boy uh, because of the blue color. Uh, and then there's some charms. Uh, on both corners, so uh, diagonally that is. And these are actual metal charms that I primed with some gesso and then simply painted with some acrylic paint. And what you see here is an actual pacifier. Well, not an actual one, this is an acrylic one. And I found it very cute, so I uh, adhered it to the lid. And then there is a cute little white squirrel here that you see, and I just, I had to have it, I had to buy it. It was simply too cute to leave in the store. And I attached it with some hot glue to the lid as well. Very, very cute. And it's very soft and it has a very soft little tail. And originally it actually had some sort of a string to suspend it from because I found it actually at the Christmas department. So it was a Christmas tree ornament actually. And then in this uh, lower corner, there's two flowers. Both are white, uh, also very cute with some uh, uh, pearls. And uh, then there's some feathers, three feathers actually, a baby blue one, then stacked a white one on top of it, and then a baby blue one again. So there's three of those. So let's take a look inside. Now what I did here is uh, simply matted uh, everything on the inside and uh, it's the same papers that I used on the outside, except on the outside it's the specialty papers and on the inside it's the plain papers. So here is the outside with the little elephant and the giraffe and you can see the glitters and the specialties. And then there's the same elephant and giraffe on the inside, but this time not glittered. So that is the inside of the box. Now let's take a look at the inside of the lid. And here is a lot going on. There's two pockets, a larger one and a smaller one. And the left one here is measured to fit a postcard because there will be a postcard tucked behind uh, the rest of it. Uh, so it uh, is especially made for that. Then there's uh, three tags. And just for fun, this is one with a little jumper suit for the baby and I glittered that, stamped it first, then put some glitter on top of it. And the second one I used some stickles to accentuate uh, the pattern, so the five and the four and even the little star here. 
So use some different colors there as well. And then I used a little ribbon to uh, extra embellish and it has little baby feet. Very, very cute. And then the third tag, again, lots of stickles and glitter and I played around with different colors of uh, stickles. So green and teals, as you can see, some baby blue. I made it uh, seven green because it was already green in the papers and I used some dotting and uh, well, just played around with it and had lots of fun doing that. It has a fun effect. And as you can see here in the lower right corner, I put one of the little baby feet that I showed you before on the second tag. I had a little piece left over and I decided to uh, glue it right there. Very, very cute. And as you may have noticed, this pocket here is actually a large, a broad ribbon or trim, as you can see. So that's a nice effect there as well. Now let's open the second pocket. It is a gusseted pocket, so it can hold lots of content there. And some cute little details here, the two little eyelets. And then here finally is a very large bow that I created myself using some very broad ribbon and then I used a bow Debra. That is a special device to create these large bows and I have to say it really has effect. And I used a rose to uh, keep it together and well it's lovely I think. And then there's a little baby feet ribbon with some stickles uh, just as a little detail. Okay, so that's my altered gift box, a great nursery gift. I hope you liked this design. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys and I will see you next week. Bye bye.